Hi guys. So often the first thing that comes up in Azure Migration Talks is connectivity. And I can definitely see how many people would be confused by all the multiple connectivity methods that are available in Microsoft Azure. I'd like to take a moment today to just go through three main methods that we would recommend to organizations. And I'd like to make uh, help people understand more about these three methods. So the this video intends to help people that are maybe looking at uh, getting to understand the Azure fundamentals better, the people who are possibly getting certified in certain Azure certifications, and lastly, organizations that are trying to decide which method they are better off using. So basically, there's three methods that I'm going to, to go through today, and we're just going to move over to this whiteboard here and, and discuss them further. So... We have three scenarios, users, office headquarters, and data centers. We're gonna cover the connectivity from these environments into Azure one by one and go through the best practice and the best use case for these methods. For users, point to site VPN is a good option. For headquarter office branches, we have site to site VPNs. And between data centers and Azure, we like to use express routes. So let's go through these individually one by one. So point to site VPNs, they're great if you have users who uh, maybe need to get into the Azure uh, networks to access Azure resources. So this think of this as like um, a VPN that might users might already connect to, but the landing point is in Azure. So for example, a user may run VPN client on their machine that connects into a virtual network inside Azure that gives them access to other things, such as uh, maybe jump hosts or um, SQL servers. This method is pretty common in smaller environments where you don't need a dedicated link between your Azure environment and your, uh, your, your on-premises networks. The next one I'd like to discuss is site-to-site -site VPNs. So VPNs are over the internet, they're over an encrypted tunnel, and they usually go between Azure and your office headquarters or wherever you would have your core network. So these would this would provide great connectivity. Um, there's multiple SKUs with multiple throughputs. Um, one thing to keep in mind is although it is a secure tunnel, it is over the internet, which some organizations may not um, may not like. There may be compliance issues around that or governance issues. The third method is Express Route. Express Route is very similar to VPN, but it's not over the internet. It is actually over dedicated links, and usually there's a backbone carrier in Australia that might be someone like uh, Megaport or something like that. Express Routes go but usually between a data center. Um, they can also land on, on organization's firewalls, but they usually go between a data center and the Azure environment. This is more of a dedicated link, and it's, it's a, a good method in, in growing a medium-sized network into Azure. I hope I've covered that for a lot of people, and I've helped people understand uh, a bit better between the three different types of connectivity. Um, if there's any questions or comments, please let me know.